And all right, I'm back. We got some Holy Mountain, my favorite brewery. This is their seventh anniversary. Hoppy Pilsner right here. Coming in at an even 5%. You can see down there towards the bottom. Um, this is a brewery out of Seattle, Washington. So somewhat local to me. Um, Holy Mountain, great stuff. It looks like uh, as far as hops that they used in this Hoppy Pilsner, they use Laurel and Galaxy. So maybe we'll get some fruity, maybe some floral, spicy vibes out of this. We shall see. Okay, smells. Smells like a Pilsner. Hmm. All right. So they did not uh, shy away from using those laurel hops. Definitely has this, like, not medicinal, but like this herbal kind of spicy characteristic to it. But there is a little bit of kind of like juicy, fruity undertones, and that has got to be from the galaxy. Pretty interesting. And it's crisp, it's cold, it's enjoyable like a Pilsner should be. Mm -hmm. Alright, got a mail call for you guys today. I already did a shave video, but I did it live. I did a live shave over on my Instagram channel, so if you want to see that, it'll be on the main feed. <clears throat> All right, day of the day. Whoops. Guess I showed uh, Maddie's address there, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's crack this thing open and we shall get into it. Oh, we're going to be using the Benchmade. And this is, has the sheep's foot design. This is a Griptilian. And this one has that uh, little hole right there to open with. Let's go ahead and get this packet. Swedish, all the way from Sweden. It arrived actually pretty quickly and um, it looks like the packet's in good condition. So always happy to see that. Let's see what we got in here. Some goodies. Looks like they're in good shape too. The bag isn't, uh, the bag isn't wet, so that's a good sign. Throw the bag off to the side. Let's see if we can get these open relatively easy here. All right. Okay. Product uh, number one. I don't know why whenever I have an aftershave in my hand, I go to shake it. But this is Maddie's um, aftershave balm. He's calling it a shaving balm. Okay. So aftershave balm. Um, I believe he calls his bombs uh, his toxic waste bomb, or at least I think. Oh, never mind. Toxic waste is a scent of one of his bombs. So Maddie Lindholm shaving supplies, shaving balm from Sweden, with shea butter, aloe vera, emulsifier. This one has menthol water and essential oils, and this is, of course, in the DK's Arctic Freeze warning: high menthol level. Very, very nice has a uh, waterproof label with no bubbles or anything underneath it so very well applied it also has the Swedish flag on the back as per usual let's go ahead and uh, crack this thing very nice Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a uh, industry standard quality restrictor right there oh yeah and that's just a wonderful citrus scent now this was sitting outside in a freezing mailbox, so I'm just gonna leave it be, let it acclimate to room temperature. But there's more where that came from. Let's go ahead and crack these open. <clears throat> Very nice packaging. This one here is the toxic waste um, label that I was talking about. And <laughs> it says, warning, hazardous waste, and it has a little hazmat, uh, skull and crossbones down there very funny label but i believe this one is just a nice uh, orange scent on it very nice i like the the industry standard bottle here uh waterproof labels very nice made it all the way from sweden and it looks like they're in good shape so very happy about that all right 
Let's get this last one open. And here's this last one here. And this is just a straight up orange scent. I'm gonna have to ask what the uh, actual toxic waste scent is, but we'll check back on that. And when I use it in a video, um, I'll let you guys know then. But thank you, Maddie. Thank you very much for those aftershave balms, especially the DK's Arctic Freeze aftershave balm. I look forward to using that soon, maybe even Monday for a Maddie Monday shake. All right, but we are not done there. We have one more packet. And this one hails from Michigan. And I think at this point, we all know what's in Michigan. The Razor Company. Let's go ahead and take this, putting a box inside of a flat rate pouch. Pro level packaging right there. Gets you that flat rate price. All right, we have an invoice, invoice, whatever, invoice. Looks like they uh, sent a second page for pretty much no reason, but that's fine. We got a bunch of goodies in here with some packing peanuts. Let's go ahead and pull some of these out. All right, they always put this protective sleeve over everything, so I definitely appreciate that. All right, first one up. This one is Los Hobanes de Josuera. And the scent on it is Quackos. And I hope I'm saying that right. Quackos. Ooh, that's a nice scent. There's a look at the pour. It's got a wide jar, low profile type uh, jar there. Nice. It's kind of like a like an oriental, like a sweet, spicy um, oriental scent. Warm, but not too dark. It's probably good for year-round wear. That's nice. I really like the scent on that one. Uh, I've been wanting to try this one for a while. It looks like everything is in Spanish because I do believe this is a product of Spain. Uh, Hecho en España right there. So I do believe it is a product of Spain. But I've been wanting to try this one for a while. It's a little bit more expensive, but you gotta factor in all the import and all of that. But um, looks like good stuff. Looks like good stuff. All right, so another new one to me, another artisan that I haven't tried as of yet, but I'm looking forward to trying soon. And I think another product out of uh, Europe, if I remember correctly, yes. Handcrafted in Athens, Greece. So a, another product from the EU, and this one is Hags, or Have a Great Shave, is what it stands for. And this one is called Aftermath. Excellent um, side label there. It says vegan base. Give you a look at the uh, ingredients. Looks like the ingredients are in English, so thank God for that. <laughs> um, there's the label on it. Very cool uh, artwork on hags. Um, looks like these are some astronauts unearthing a another astronaut <laughs> um, that didn't fare too well out there. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a, a sniff of this one. There's a look at the pour. It's kind of a kind of a milk chocolate brown color. That smells pretty good as well. Kind of has like a, almost a gourmand type uh, scent to it. Oh shit, on the back, it says vegan base and it actually has the scent notes and intensity it calls it. Maybe they mean scent strength. Top notes of oregano, pepper, bergamot, uh, middle notes, incense, opopanox, amber and labdanum, and then base notes of leather, argarwood, oud, sandalwood and patchouli and uh all right so i guess uh comes off as kind of gourmandy i would love to take a bite out of this but maybe it's not but it definitely is kind of a warm scent and these came straight out of a uh freezing mailbox 
So I'm gonna have to let them warm up to appreciate the full scent. But the first impressions on both of those, really nice. All right, next up. This is a brand that I have tried before, but I haven't tried a lot of. So let's go ahead and pull this one out. And uh, this is Heritage Hill Shave Company. The scent on this one is Washington. And I love the red label. And I'm from Washington State, so what's up? <laughs> We got a nice side label, ingredients. And this one's out of Jacksonville, Florida. Ooh, this one looked like it uh, must have took a, a bump or something in transit. If you could see right there on the cap, it has a crack, but um, it looks like it's not cracked to the point of causing problems. It's still functioning as a lid should function. So I think we dodged a bullet there. There's a look at the pour. And this one smells pretty damn good too. I don't remember which ones are dupes and which ones aren't. I think Hags is definitely a dupe, but I don't know if the other two are cologne dupes or not. But they all three smell good so far, so three winners. Let's see, what else do we got in here? We do not, did not get a uh, air freshener this time, so rip on my part there. All right, looks like we got a little pouch of various blades. I'll pour them out onto the counter. First things first, we got some Parker safety razor stainless steel injector style blades so i look forward to using those soon we also got some feather professional super artist club blades so i'll be trying those soon we also got some kai captain blades let's see is there any other information kai captain blades Hmm. I feel like there was something else to this, but Kai Captain Blades, I don't know if they're, I feel like there's another designation that goes with this, but I'll have to uh, research that, but Kai Captain Blades, also Artist Club Blades, and then on top of that, we got some Gillette Ruby Plus Blades, and some Gillette Super Thin um, blades as well and I haven't tried either one of these so looking forward to trying these blades soon these two being a uh, DE blades haven't uh, haven't tried some new blades in a while so every once in a while I'll throw some blades in at the end of an order just to kind of bring that price to an even number I don't know I'm weird like that but a lot of good shit got a couple soaps a couple aftershaves and a couple blades so uh, I look forward to using these soon hope you enjoyed the mail call Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.